Hey, how you doing? Kevin Maloney from the Maloney Method. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting. Have you heard, do not go gentle into that good night? That's a quote from the great Dylan Thomas, one of the great poems of all times. He's talking about the senior years. He's talking about the years that I'm in and tens of millions of people are in right now. And the poem is built around the fears that we have to deal with every day that are different than people in a different decade. You only get these fears when you get to a certain age. This is how nature planned it. We get up in the morning and there's like a thousand guns pointed at us. If one of them hits us, we're in trouble. But we still have to get up and move and make stuff happen. Even though we're carrying the burden of knowing where we are as far as relating to the finish line. We're very aware of that. We are also aware of the brainwashing that has been done on us through the decades on how and why you should slow down. Slow down. Do less and less. There's a pill for this. There's a pill for that. How does a senior marshal the intestinal fortitude to get on a training program when he's at a time of life where he knows what for, what for. Every senior out there has a backload of experience on his life or on her life. Every person that has lived a certain amount of time has scars that the younger people just cannot imagine. Younger people have crises that they call crises. Older people have real crises. They have to deal with it. How does a senior get the stuff to get on an exercise program, stick with it, and improve. The way I feel, I'll just speak for myself now. We know time is limited. We know that the finish line is there. So if you're looking at numbers and you're saying, hey, what do I got, five, 10, 15 years left? What the hell? I will do nothing. I'll just sit here and do nothing. I feel you can buy time. I feel you can buy time two ways. Not just by the fact that exercise will increase your lifespan, but it might be negligible, the increase. The main way that I buy time is that when you are on an exercise program, each day has more meaning. Each day is like you get three days out of it. So what you do is you flip the calendar, okay? You flip the calendar. So as opposed to just drifting through Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if you get into a training program, you will get much more out of your Monday much more out of your Tuesday. So in effect, you're buying time. We also know as seniors, there's this invisible thing that happens as far as how quick time goes. We all know, Jesus, we wake up on Monday. We turn around, we do a couple of things and it's Saturday. Younger people cannot relate. It's like time increases as we're heading to the finish line. So the way to stop that again is by training. 
they have sold the seniors very subtly that you really slow down at this point. And the reason they have sold that is the revenue stream. There is much less revenue when a person gets into training, has to buy sneakers and buys dumbbells, as opposed to has a lifestyle that is not a positive lifestyle and gets ill and gets all of these things that were controllable. If you follow the money, as one great genius said, follow the money, you will find out how they marketed this. And the way they marketed it is on TV, they show you these so-called older folks, okay, we call them seniors, right? They're here, they're running around, they're doing this, they're in Europe, and they show you what they got the bag of pills, okay? Trust me, that picture that you see on their marketing, when a person has that much medication, they're not feeling great, even though it's marketed, everybody's smiling, okay? So what you have to do, okay, as a senior, and it takes a lot, but remember, seniors are tough people because they have been through a lot. Each person who gets to 60 or 70 has suffered some type of illness, has lost someone that they really, really love, has felt extreme disappointment in certain aspects of their life and extreme disappointments in certain people in their life. They have dealt with real internal pain, but they're still standing. This is the toughness that seniors have that the younger people do not have and they cannot understand until they get to that particular time, then they will know. It's almost like trying to describe to a guy, okay, this is what it feels like to get punched in the nose. You could bring the best talker in the world and say, okay, the guy comes over with the right hand and it lands there and the nerves go here and the blood comes down and you feel like crying. You try and describe it. But guess what? You can't describe it. That person gets punched in the nose. He knows what it feels like to be punched in the nose. Seniors have been punched in the nose. They've gotten off the ground. They have proved that they can take it. They can take it. And a lot of them have been put in a spot in society with their families, with the public, where whatever, where they become an invisible group. Because people are looking and say, oh, well, they got five years left, they got 10 years left. They become invisible, okay? Well, we know we are not invisible. And we know that we still have a punch. And this is where strength training comes in. There's something about picking something up and moving it that brings stuff out of you. It's offensive. We have spent, a lot of seniors have spent decades backing up on the defense because of society, on the defense. It's become a habit to be on the defense. Oh, there's the senior discount. Oh, there's the senior there. There's the senior there. Oh, look at them hobbling. They, they can't wear this, you can't wear that. It's a senior, okay? Like they're people from another planet, okay? Seniors can lift something to go on the offense. Go on the offense. Something happens to your body when you're reminded that yes, I still can lift stuff. I still can move stuff. And remember, you start slow, but momentum will happen. Your biggest thing is to take that first step, which you can do, because look at what you have been through. Look at what you have been through. You can start an exercise program, 
And if you get going, it's going to be hard to stop you because of what you have been through. So the Maloney Method has used Dylan Thomas, that great poem about life and how when you get older, there's different barriers, there's fears that you don't believe, okay? But he says, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And that's what the Maloney Method believes in. And I thank you for joining us. And if you comments, thumbs up, subscriptions, we are at Maloney Method at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. And we will see you again on Friday. Good to see you.